If you're looking to buy Madden 22 coins, head over to MMOEXP.com for the fastest, cheapest, and safest coins on the market. Click the link down in the description and be sure to use code THRONE for 5% off and upgrade your team today. All right, guys, so Team of the Week, Week 2 just dropped today. They gave us about eight usable cards. I have them right here in my binder. I went out and bought all of them, all eight. Okay, it cost me about all my mutt bucks. My pockets were dry, okay? I went and sold my Miles Garrett just to get more coins, and I was still short because this Aaron Jones cost so much. I went and bought coins off MMO on my second account, bought Aaron Jones on that account, traded him to here. I've got Aaron Jones. I have all eight of these cards, and today we're going to do something different with them. I'm going to give you guys my opinion of the least valuable to the most valuable card, not necessarily the worst to the best card, Price is always an option when it comes to making a decision on picking up a card and who's going to be on the team. So I'm going to rank these cards more off value rather than how good they actually are. And then, of course, we're going to put all eight into my lineup. We'll take it into a mutt head-to-head -head game, see how they do. And then at the end, I'll talk about which cards I'm going to keep for my actual mutt head-to-head -head god squad. By the way, if you disagree with my ranking, let me know in the comment section. Uh, without further ado, let's get into our first card. My least favorite card, Nick Bosa. 88 overall. Probably a cheap upgrade, I would say. Uh, so, yeah, probably decent for the budget. Um, he's a little bit too slow. Low block shed, low power move. He does have good finesse move. Uh, doesn't compete with any of the top cards. Yeah, I would say it's cheap, which is nice, but he doesn't really do anything particularly well. I really like speed on my defensive line this year. Quarterbacks are so fast. You need about as much speed on that D line as possible. Nick Bosa doesn't have that. And uh, yeah, no, I highly, I, I would not play this card no matter how bad your team is. <laughs> get someone faster okay get, get someone faster next up lamar jackson this one's unfortunate if they give him i think it was a plus one overall upgrade he would have gotten an escape artist which would have made him very valuable uh he actually would have been probably pretty high on this list but unfortunately he doesn't get escape artist doesn't have any throwing abilities no gunslinger set feet lead pass lead elite nothing i just have roaming dead eye on him today he's fast he's 89 speed uh that's pretty much it low throw power uh doesn't do anything particularly well you could run a gadget offense with him maybe rpo glitch with him you can't do much more than that. Brother, this guy stinks! I'm not excited to have to pass this card today. I'm actually kind of terrified, but I might be able to play like a crackhead. Who knows? We'll see. Next up, 93 overall, Aaron Jones. Again, all these cards are powered up, by the way. So I have the best version of all of them. Um, Yeah, this one's going to be my third least valuable. Uh, so expensive, and he's going to remain expensive. He's probably actually the best halfback in the game. You could probably make a really strong case for him to be the best. Him, Reggie Bush, Travis Etienne, they're all pretty darn good. They're kind of similar. Um, it's just he's grossly overpriced and way more expensive than the similar cards. You can go out and get Travis Etienne, who's basically the same card for 800,000 coins less. Actually, probably a lot, a lot more coins less because you don't need more training to power him up. This card is grossly overpriced decent card i have backfield mismatch on him uh he's not gonna get backfield master for one ap like reggie bush will because he's an elusive back but i kind of have ditched that ability anyway so i'm gonna mess with backfield mismatch today but this is my third least favorite still a really good card it's just too expensive gonna kill myself and not particularly better than anyone at his position. Next up, Joey Porter. I would say this card's solid. Actually, probably one of the better edge rushers in the entire game. 87 speed, 87 block shed, 91 power move. Finesse move a little bit low, 81. I'd like to start seeing those both near 90 with my rushers and Miles Garrett had both near 90, but he has really good speed. And uh, like I mentioned, speed's so important to chase down quarterbacks this year. And if you do shed, you need to be able to get to the QB. Uh, you can't let him run away from you and make a play. Uh, just hawk him down, try to get an intentional ground or uh, just put them under pressure and, and make them throw the ball away. I, I love speed on my defensive line. This card's pretty darn good. Um, yeah, he's a little bit more spendy. He's on the spendier side of this list, but I, I don't think he's overpriced at all. I would say he's a pretty good deal. He's solid. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. I don't rock any abilities on him, by the way. The next card I have ranked is Roquan Smith. This was a really hard card to rank. He's cheap. He's, he's an awesome deal, in my opinion. Uh, 88 speed, so he's, I think, the second fastest middle linebacker, maybe the third. Um, but he actually has decent attributes. I would say that he's like a budget Devin White. He has 78 zone. He does a lot of things pretty darn well, and he has good speed. He's better than, you know, the Robert Spillanes of the world. You know, that dude is is a moron. He's just fast. This dude actually should have a brain on the field. Um, he has a decent attributes. The thing that holds him back, he's a linebacker. Um, you're not commonly going to use linebackers. I actually do in 3 through 5 wide, so he does have value, value to me. If I didn't have Devin White, this card would actually play for me, but I can afford Devin White, so I have him. I'm ready! I would say Roquan Smith budget Devin White and a mega budget Devin White. He's so cheap. Next up, another one I had trouble ranking, Derrick Henry. Uh, I put Bulldozer on him today. He's 88 speed. 
a little bit lower than I'd like to see, but like this dude's so good. He's so he's just by far and away the best goal line back in the game. He has a place on every offense, in my opinion. Unless you're running a 50 50 theme team, you don't have space, then probably not. But uh, for the most part, a decent, like a pretty cheap upgrade. It was just a little bit of training. Um, you could use your power up pass for the core elite that is really expensive. But this card is 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 really really good. Yeah, he's probably not a starting every down back, but he definitely has a really valuable purpose. Scoring in the red zone is hard this year. I love this Derrick Henry card. I'm glad he got an upgrade. I know it is a minimal one, by the way, but like that card is still good. He already he already played for me. Next up, Ozzie Newsome. They gave us basically a uh, six foot two Darren Waller. It's that's that's what I'd say exactly what he is. Six foot two Darren Waller. He's a vertical threat. He's not going to get the route abilities for cheap like Kittle. Uh, he's 89 speed, same speed as Darren Waller. He just happens to be six foot two. Can't air truck. Really good route running, uh, route running attributes. This card is good, and he's a fraction of the cost of Darren Waller. Darren Waller is incredibly expensive. This card is a little bit more of a budget option. You know, it's going to save you a lot of coins if you don't have Kittle and you can't afford Waller. This is a decent option. I know he's not the most cheap card. You can still go with Pitts for probably quite a bit cheaper. But this card is really good. This is a great option for people that can't quite afford that uh, high-end Darren Waller. Really good card here. I have tight end apprentice and short and elite on him today for, I think, four AP total. Go crazy. Ah, go stupid. Ah. Oh, the only other knock on him is uh, Darren Waller's Raiders theme team. And <laughs> Raiders is, like, by far the best theme team now. And last, but of course, certainly not least, the most valuable card, in my opinion, Mike Edwards. Uh, this dude is God. He's he's a five foot ten God. My only knock on him, he's five foot ten. He's really reasonably priced for being pretty much the best safety in the game outside of Sean Taylor, or if you grind up to get Cam Chancellor. This dude is incredible. 93 zone for me. He's gonna play the shit out of everything. Okay, Ed Reed was a god already. Uh, very similar to uh, attributes to Ed Reed. He's just one speed faster. Uh, my biggest issue with him is he's short, but Ed Reed was short too. It's just the short DBs kind of get dunked on. That's why I have an issue with his height, but he's definitely going to play for me on my God squad. I think this card's so good. He's the zone archetype, so you can get mid zone KO for one AP. I also have Acrobat equipped for two APs, so spending three total. This card's really, really good. I think you're going to see him on about every single team uh, or every single God squad that you end up matching up with. I think is going to have this Mike, Mike Edwards. He's, he's really good. Do it! Just do it and that's it that's the eight cards if you disagree with any of the decisions of course let me know uh a little bit hard to rank and you know some of them you can kind of interchange it all depends based on what you run what your theme team is what your coin stack is but for the most part i tried to kind of just factor in everything and give an overall rating based on my opinion and uh you know that's the list that i had regardless we're gonna use all eight in a video today <sighs> I'm not excited to pass this Lamar Jackson. Please pray for me. Fingers crossed that I can actually throw and complete passes without Slinger now that I'm used to Slinger. Oh, my brain's already hurting thinking about it. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Did nothing like trying to record a nice friendly mutt head to head game to, to post on the internet and I face a guy with a Madden gamer tag, PA counter go. I mean, best of luck to me, dude. I'm, I'm already starting my prayers. Yeah! Yes! All right, man, let's do it. Daddy Diablo, the best user in the game. Let's get after it, buddy. He's got Vince Young back there, dude. This dude's gonna play like a freaking crackhead. I'm terrified. I actually feel like I could have lurked that too, and I kind of gave up on it. My goal against trips is just to it's just to try to squeal at it. It's just to send pressure most plays. Get lurky, get lurky, Diablo. Get lurky, Diablo. Bag? No. Oh, if I had Acrobat there, he actually might Acrobat and play it, and I can't make a tackle because I'm my ass. It's okay. It's Madden 22. You're not supposed to get stops. I just need one stop when we win the game. There's PA counter go. There it was. There it was. His gamer tag. There was the play. I'm sending six. I'm sending six. I'm sending six. Scream, scream, scream. Get to the halfback. You cannon. Make a tackle. Please. Thank you. Mine. No. My Acrobat. Sean T. You played the f out of it. Oh my gosh, it's fine. It's fine. Now I just have to go lead a drive with Lamar Jackson and I probably have to score seven every drive for the rest of the entire game with Lamar. Oh my gosh, Derek Henry. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had a bruiser on him or bulldozer on him. All right, Lamar Jackson, let's make some plays, kid. I mean, I haven't I haven't passed that gunslinger in a, in a hot minute. We'll see how this is again. Oh, nice, dude. I have the squiggly lines. That's awesome. I'm so excited to play this game with squiggly lines. Perfect. Yay, woohoo. Okay, Aaron Jones, you know, at least you know, six, like, nice little six yard gain to start the game woohoo i'm really playing against show blitz three four odd i haven't seen this defense in in years this is the spreader defense linebacker spreader this dude's running your defense he's giving up touchdowns in it touchdown 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 lamar jackson 
All right, we're good. Okay, got our seven back quickly. And we got seven in two plays. Okay, can we make him work for some points now, please? PA counter go. It should be bagged. Come on, why is going to get open? Oh, is Vince Young's going crazy? Man, I can't make a tackle because of my ass. Oh, I'm so bad at the game. I'm so bad. All right. I need my three man to get more pressure than that. We're going to bag it. Oh, it's not even PA counter go. It's PA slot corner. That's why the, the play action's a tad different. Okay. Still. I'm running cover two against trips head down. This is terrifying. This is actually terrifying. It's just it's just asking to get to get dotted. Diablo! Daddy! Nope. Daddy Diablo! Get your feet in! Oh my gosh! You just oh, it's fine. It's fine. I do the same thing. I just throw it the sideline because what are they gonna do? Pick it in bounds? I mean, if they pick it, they're gonna pick it out of bounds, and they're probably not even gonna pick it anyway. Alright, at the end of the first quarter, 7-7. Seven, seven. Mine! Mine! Diablo! Daddy Diablo! Get lurked! That's why you put Acrobat on your user. Go crazy. Go crazy, kid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm freaking lurking like a maniac. Sean T actually would have picked it too. The thing was, he actually threw two picks on that play. There's no way Sean T doesn't end up catching that. I don't know what's happening. I'm just snapping. I'm snapping this. I'm not. Nope. I'm just snapping this. Mm. Who the f 98? I, I need to know who that fat mother is. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be a rough one right there to overcome. That's we, we get a stop and he gets gifted a stop and seven right back. Just off me throwing a wide open dot. E, 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 E. I should be able to throw this over him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No more 800K delay fade. That's Ozzy Newsome, baby. Oh my gosh. I did not think that was going to go for seven. That's my 300K delay fade. Ozzy Newsome, my budget delay fade, but budget, budget delay fade. Man, I'm privileged. The kick is going to be up and it's going to be good. Justin Tucker, extra point tie game, 14-14. Don't go for the bomb. Don't go. Don't do the super bomb. I don't think he can because he's motioning over X. So we're good. We just need to go crazy with the lurk. Go crazy with the lurk. He's going to throw Y. Delay fade. Delay fade where? Nope. B is going to be open. Yes, all day. Hey, uh, whoever's on oh, the no. line right now, don't get him. Montez Sweat and Nick Bosa and Joey Porter, just get rid of them. Don't use them. Never use them. I send three? No. Uh, zero pressure. No, this is bad. No, I got caught on Sweat. No, we bagged. I didn't bag. I didn't bag. Out of bounds. No. Dang it. Good dot. Good dot. Oh, I still blitzed the outside corner. I was so behind on my quick adjustments. That was really bad by me. I said I was playing aggressive defense, to be fair. But, you know, ideally, aggressive defense doesn't look like him getting eight seconds to throw. That means that I'm sending everybody. I'm trying to decide if I want to clock him right now. I mean, part of me just wants him to have the ball back because I think he's kind of an idiot. And I've just sucked so far. I mean, I do have one stop on him. And getting stops in this game is very hard to do. Cool, dude. Can't see my play art. Cool, dude. Can someone block the contain? Ozzy, damn it. It's fine. <laughs> Holy hell, the no bazooka stuff is thrown. Or no, uh, no uh, gunslinger with no set feet lead. Neither of them is throwing me off. These balls are getting lobbed. He's doing a really good job of hovering right there. That's like the perfect spot to hover. See, like, look how slow that ball gets there. I need Gunslinger. I need Slinger. I need Zach Wilson back. The best quarterback in the worst quarterback in the NFL. Zach Wilson. Dog shit. We're making it work with Lamar, man. We're making it work. All right. Well, I mean, I, I have to clock now. It's a minute seven seconds, dude. I have to. Ooh, ooh. Touchdown? No, not a touchdown. 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 Touchdown, touchdown, Jerry Rice, touchdown. Oh, wow, that was a deep cloud. That was like, he had his cloud on like 50 yards right there. Jeez, that was like a 50-yard cloud flat. He, he glitched his zone drops to, to set it above 30. All right, man, one stop, 37 seconds. This is, guys, there is a super mega bomb on a trip shed, and I can't lie. Like in previous years, dude, I would feel so good about this position. No, this year, there's a super mega bomb. I am terrified of getting bombed here. Send in six, send in six, send in six, send in six. Lurk the running back, lurk the running back, lurk the running back. Yes, yes, yes. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Uh, he's actually probably going to be able to get a spike off. It's fine, though. All right, it's up. It's good. I am down three at half to PA counter go. I have run seven offensive play <laughs> plays and have 21 points. <laughs> My slot corner's on the wrong side. I probably should run inside zone to, to Aaron Jones, but it's cool. I'm actually going to check down because Y is wide open. I have to wait for him to sit, though, on the sideline. I had plenty of time. Devin Hester's getting after it. All right, seven for eight, 240 yards. The one incompletion I have is a pick six off throwing a wide open dot that gets swatted by a fat D line. And the goal is to release my offensive ebook tomorrow. That's gonna have, uh, yeah, this it's gotta be a bomb here. It's just gotta be. Do I have time though? Yeah, it is. 
All right. It's going to have bombs for days against every single coverage. I mean, you guys have seen them. I'm doing this with Lamar Jackson, the quarterback that I think is absolutely dog shit. You know, you need to be using a set feet lead, gunslinger, or in worst, worst case scenarios, escape artist QBs. And Lamar has none of them. He just has roaming dead eye. As much as I love Lamar, this the card they gave him isn't good, sadly. Yep, there it is. Cover two beater. And he caught it in bounds. Vince threw that really weird. That's exactly why you need set feet lead or gunslinger right there. That is an odd pass. Blow it up. No. Mm. Such good defense for it. Made such good defense for it. Okay. I think I am going to try to score immediately and then go for one more stop. I'm probably actually going to onside if I do score really, really quickly and try to give him a short field. I just want the ball last. That's all I care about. If this is a weekend league game right now, by the way, I would clock this guy. I would not let him see the ball. Um, I am either getting three with zero seconds or I'm scoring uh, seven with 16 or fewer seconds left. It's no in between. It's one or the other. Uh, no, no way he ever sees the ball. I'm going for a bomb here. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's not open. That's open though. Newsom, 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 Newsom. Okay, I'm going to get out of bounds. I'm going to try to save as much time as possible. And I'm 100% kicking an onside to give him a short field. I just want the ball back. Laser. Really good throw by Lamar Perfect. off his back foot, and we're out of bounds. Okay, we got to score from the seven. This is a hard yard line to be on, though. I'm doing it again. Calling the exact same thing. Laser. Oh! Hester, 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 Hester. He got his feet in bounds for once. I highballed it, and I A caught it, and I got my feet in bounds. Let's go, Hester. Oh, that was a hell of a throw from Lamar. That's a high ball on the run right there, and he just he just threw a freaking dime. Just just perfect ball. Okay, I am on siding here. It's a little bit risky, but I feel like I have to. I need this this ball back with as little time as possible. I actually might recover this. I might scum him. I might scum the hell out of him. I might scum the hell out of him. Yes! Perfect. Yes! Yes! Get f back, you dumbass! Get fed! <laughs> I'm the luckiest! I'm actually TGL! Team get lucky! TGL! Oh, that makes me so happy, dude. After after I get a beautiful stop on a crazy lurk with Daddy Diablo, and this fucking moron gets seven off it, and, like the play after after me, I, I me, blah, 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 I throw a laser, and oh, I didn't get rid of my delay drag or my actual drag. Throw it away, Lamar. We're good. This is cover three. I don't know why I'm doing this, but laser, little route bounce. I'll take a little luck. I'll take a little fluke. Perfect route bounce by Aaron Jones. He's got a lot of balls. Ozzie Newsome and Aaron Jones have actually had a huge impact on this game. This is 100% man. Can Ozzie Newsome beat man on this out route? No, oh, I don't, don't need it to be man. I should throw it over the zero yard curl flat. That's a, that's a linebacker too. That's Jack Awusu Koromoa. He's not gonna put his hands up at all. And touchdown, Ozzie Newsome. This dude Ozzie actually had the game of his life. And guys, I am putting out an ebook on this offense. I don't think it'll be tomorrow. I think it'll be the day after you're seeing this. So in two days, and uh, I'll upload a video, you know, specifically advertising that. But this uh, this Raiders offense has just been awesome for me to run a little bit off meta, run a bunch of different formations, kind of run a tour. You have a bunch of different awesome run formations that I don't even go to that much unless I'm re I really really need to. Um, you can you can run a lot of cool stuff and a lot of bombs in this playbook. It's been fun. I've I've really enjoyed it. Come on, D line, get after it, baby, get after it. Hell no! Hell no! I caught a pick, Buchanan. Let's go. I'm not, I have 94 speed there. He's not going to just be able to streak past him with Jamar Chase. And that's going to be GG's. Hey, man. Uh, Ozzie Newsome played awesome. Lamar, I could say, actually played pretty well. Uh, I would not use him as a quarterback still, even if he had a good game. Uh, there are many other better quarterbacks for similar prices. I would not use Lamar. Who else? Nick Bosa was shit. Uh, God, Joey Porter's probably going to make my team. But, uh, I mean, he played bad. He didn't do anything. My D-line actually didn't fight for me at all this game. He had all day. Every single time he dropped back to pass, whether I sent three, sent five, sent six. Um, but Joey will probably play for me. His attributes are too good. I need to try him. Ozzie Newsom would definitely be my tight end if it wasn't for uh, Darren Waller. Ozzie Newsom is really good. Aaron Jones is really good. It's just, he's not worth it. Uh, guys, it's way too many coins. I did say that earlier, but like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to use him. And I have a gazillion coins. I'm going to use Reggie Bush. Mike Edmonds did nothing. Sad. I don't remember a time Mike Edmonds even got thrown at. Um, he was in a deep half basically all game. Derrick Henry also didn't get any goal line touches. Uh, but uh, for real though, a lot of these cards are good. They, they are good. You know, one game does, uh, of you know, looking for production in one game doesn't necessarily you know show everything about a card i say mike edmonds earlier i might mike, Ed mike edwards if i did i'm definitely gonna keep mike edwards i'm gonna keep uh i'm gonna keep porter and i'm gonna try my best to keep derrick henry if i can fit him into my lineup because he's really really good those are the three cards i'm gonna keep from this team of the weeks uh this team of the weeks 
drop. I'm sorry, guys. I completely forgot to mention when I was recording this. I just played MMG in a game of Madden. It's on YouTube, guys. It's linked in the description. It's on the Game Days YouTube channel. We played a game of regs, Chiefs versus Ravens. I had a ton of fun recording it. It's a really great video, and I want you guys to go check it out. It's linked down in the description. If you want to watch me play MMG and Madden, go check out that video now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, consider hitting the subscribe button and keep an eye out for my offense, my offensive ebook on hotroute.tips. I'll link it in the description. You guys want to go get your subscription ready? It'll be dropping this week. Guaranteed. I promise it will. Best bombs in the game. Off meta offense. A lot of fun. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.